Hi students, today I am going to explain some questions. Your chapter data handling, the questions based on probability. Our first question is, write the sample space of the following. Here, first question, tossing two coins at once. What do you mean by sample space? The sample space are the outcomes when you do an experiment. Here, the experiment is tossing two coins at once. When we tossing one coin, what are the outcomes? They are head and tail. Here, tossing two coins at once. So, there may be two are head, there may be two are tail. One first one is tail, second one is head, or first one is head, second one is tail. So, our sample space is head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, and tail, head. Tossing a coin four times. You know that the outcomes when you toss a coin is head and tail. When you toss it two times, the outcomes are head and tail only. When you toss three times, the outcomes are head and tail only. So, when you toss a coin four times, the outcomes are head and tail. So, the our sample space is head and tail. Spinning a spinner on a wheel containing five colors, red, green, orange, yellow and blue. What are the sample space? So, spinning a spinner, there are five colors, red, green, orange, yellow and blue. So, either red or green or orange or yellow or blue will occur. So, our sample space is red, green, orange, yellow and blue. Next one. Rolling two dice simultaneously. You have two dice. When you roll it, either it will 1-1 one, one or 1-2. One, first, in first one, it is 1 and second one also it may be 1. And in the first one, it is 1 and second one will be 2. And in the uh, first one, it is 1. Second one will be 3. Like that, it will go. So, it will be 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, 1-3, one, 1-4, one, 1-5. One, that means 1 means... This first indicates that the in the first dice and this one is in the second dice. So it is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6 and this 2. If the first shows 2, second one shows 1, it is 2, 1. Sec first one shows 2, second one shows 2, it is 2, 2. First one shows 2, second one is shows 3, it is 2, 3. Like that we will get 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, like that. 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, until 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 5, 6, 6, like that. So, there are 36 outcomes will come. Now, our second question is, find the probability of drawing a king from a pack of playing cards. We know that playing cards, in playing, playing cards, there are 52 cards and there are four symbols in each symbols there are each one king each so one club one diamond like that two red kings and two black kings there are totally there are four kings so number of kings is equal to four and the total number of cards is equal to number of kings equal to four and the total number of cards is equal to 52 so the probability of drawing a king is equal to the number of kings by total number it's equal to 4 by 52 it's equal to when you simplify you will get 1 by 13 you know what is probability of an event probability of an event equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes what do you mean by number of favorable outcomes the outcomes which specify in the question is the number of fav the favorable outcomes here the, in the question it is drawing a king that is to get a king for that we have four kings so the number of favorable outcomes is four and the total number we know that it is 52 the total number of cards in a playing card set is 52 so it is 4 by 52 it's equal to 1 by 13 third one find the probability of obtaining a 2 by rolling dice when you roll a dice it will be either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 5 or 5 or 6 so there are 6 outcomes will come 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ही आर द फेवरेबल आउटकम इज टू गेट ए टू सो प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग ए टू बाय रोलिंग ए डाइस इक्वल टू वन बाय सिक्स फेवरेबल नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम इज वन एंड द टोटल नंबर इज सिक्स सो वन बाय सिक्स और नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग ए प्राइम नंबर फ्रॉम द नंबर वन टू फिफ्टी so first you check how many prime numbers between 1 and 50 we know that 1 is not a prime number so 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 and 47 are the prime numbers between 1 and 50 first you list first you list out the num prime numbers so we got the number of prime numbers as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 there are 15 prime numbers between 1 and 50 so number of favorable outcome is 15 and the total number from 1 to 15 there are 50 numbers so total number is 50 so probability of obtaining a prime number is 15 by 50 it's equal to when you simplify it's equal to 3 by 10 you divide this by 5 you will get 3 by 10 uh, our next question is A bag contains seven blue, five red, and twelve green balls. Find the probability of obtaining a blue ball. If we draw a red ball and do not put it back into the bag, what is the probability of obtaining a red ball? And what is the probability of not obtaining a red ball? Here, our first question is: Find the probability of obtaining a blue ball. Here, a bag contains seven blue balls. Five red balls and twelve green balls. So the total number of balls equal to seven plus five plus twelve. It is twenty-four. Now, how many blue balls are there? There are seven blue balls are there. So probability of obtaining a blue ball equal to seven by twenty-four. Now, if you draw a red ball and do not put it back into the bag. So if you draw a red ball, the now the total number of ball is twenty-three because we took a red ball and we didn't put in the, put it in the bag so there are 23 balls and how many red balls are there here there are five red balls but we took one so there are four red ball only so to get probability of obtaining a red ball is equal to 4 by 23 and probability of obtaining not a red ball there are total 23 balls and from 23 balls four balls are red balls so how many balls are blue and green the number of blue and green balls are 19 you take four you take out four from 23 you will get 19 so number of blue balls and green balls equal to 19 so probability of not obtaining a red ball is equal to 19 by 23 our next question is find the probability of obtaining two heads in tossing a coin twice we have a coin and we toss it two times then what is the probability of obtaining at exactly two heads so the outcomes are when you toss a coin twice it either head head or tail tail or tail head and head tail so there are four outcomes we have totally four outcomes and the to getting a two heads here how many only one chance so probability of getting a two heads equal to 1 by 4 next question find the probability of obtaining a sum of 7 in rolling dice in the first question i explained the sample space when you roll a dice there are 36 outcomes will come they are 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 like that 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 4 10 6 5 6 so these are the outcomes when you roll a dice but our question is find the probability of obtaining a sum of 7 in rolling dice so you check in which outcomes the sum is 9 here this 1 and 6 and 1 6 2 5 1 6 is 7 2 5 is 7 and 3 4 and 4 3 5 2 and 6 1 so there are six outcomes whose sum is 
they are one six two five three four five two and one six two five three four and four three also four three five two and six one these are the six outcomes when you roll a dice and their sum is seven so there are six outcomes so number of outcomes whose sum is seven and the total number is you know it is 36 so probability of obtaining a sum of 7 is equal to 6 by 36 it is 1 by 6 our next question is find the probability of getting at least two heads on tossing three coins at once at least means minimum at most means maximum the question is to get at least two heads minimum two heads occur in the outcomes so when you toss a coin three times the outcomes are head 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 and tail head tail and tail tail head and tail t t t means tail 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 and tail tail head and tail head and head head tail and head so we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight outcomes and the question is at least two heads at least two heads means this one here there are three and here two at least a minimum two and here two heads and here two heads so there are four outcomes having at least two heads so our probability is the four by eight total number is eight and at least two heads there are four outcomes so four by eight is equal to one by two and ninth one last question two dice are rolled together find the probability of getting a sum mass multiple of three Already I explained the sample space when you roll a dice, they are this 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, etc. up to 6, 6. So there are 36 outcomes in our sample space. And the question is find the probability of getting a sum as multiple of 3. What are the multiple of 3? It is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, like that. So you check in which outcomes the sum is a multiple of 3. Here 1, 2. The sum is 3, 1, 5, the sum is 6, and 2, 1, sum is 3, 2, 4, sum is 6, then 3, 3, sum is 6, 3, 6, sum is 9, 4, 2, 4, 5, 5, 1, 5, 4 and uh, 6, 3 and 6, 6. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 outcomes whose sum is a multiple of 3. So, the number of favorable outcome is equal to 12. And the total number of outcomes equal to, we know that it is 36. When a dice rolled, the total number of outcomes equal to always 36. So, here, when two dice rolled, the total number of outcomes equal to 36. Here, the uh, favorable outcome is equal to 12. So, our probability of getting as sum as multiple of 3 is equal to 12 by 36. It's equal to 1 by 3. Okay, students, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe subscribe and like